see that? That's the best brake cleaner that you can get. Wait, that's carb cleaner. We need a brake cleaner. Where is it at? Ah, there it is. Best brake cleaner you can get. AutoZone brake cleaner. Uh, say four dollars. Okay. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, today we're going to be uh, changing the diff fluid in the front and the rear of my uh, Jeep Wrangler JK. Now, as y'all know, or y'all may not, I do not have the stock axles in here. These are the axles out of a 2017 uh, Jeep JK. So we will not be using, uh, I'm sorry, a 2017 Jeep JK Rubicon, which has locking differentials instead of a limited slip differential. So we will not be putting the additive in there. We'll be using a Lucas. 7590 gear oil, maybe an 8090, can't remember. I'll let you know whenever I put it in there. But right now we're just getting the bolts loose and we're gonna actually pull the diff fluid out. And I'm taking the cover off just to kind of inspect everything, make sure everything's good. But it's not necessary on the Dana 44s because uh, they have a drain hole right here uh, on the side, see here, right here, where you can just drain and fill if you'd like. But we're going to actually take the cover off because we want to do an inspection because it's been a little while and everything and we just want to make sure everything's in good working order so uh, without any further ado let's get started so guys what i'm doing i just loosen up uh, all but the top and then i'm gonna give it a little tap and then i'm gonna loosen the top up just a little bit and let the oil kind of drain down into the pan here Hopefully I'll do that without getting it all over me. So guys, I'll leave the top one in just so it can kind of pivot on that. And then just, there you go. And there she goes. She's draining. You got a little bit of a leak, nothing major, but I uh, also just wanted to kind of check everything out and make sure everything was good under there. So that's why I'm taking the cover actually off. Pretty sure it was just leaking a little bit because the bolts were loose just a little bit, but we're gonna check it out anyway. And um, just wanna make sure there's no chips or anything. Hey guys, so we have the oil out um, of there and I was gonna clean it out with brake cleaner and everything like that because I was concerned that there may be some chipping. Everything in there looks really good. I wiped out some of the grease and uh, put it in my hand and there's no uh, metal chips or anything like that. So we're just gonna put the cap back on it and um, we're going to refill it because it looks absolutely perfect. I was concerned because of the leaking that had started and I didn't know how long it had been leaking when I noticed it, so I just wanted to kind of give it a good look over. But the, the gears look great, the locker looks good, everything, everything looks good. Um, what we're looking at is we're looking at the teeth here to see if any kind of chipping is present. There is not. There's not any real signs of even hard wear. Nope, no real wear or anything like that. Hard wear or anything. So the uh, locker looks good. everything's in place and seems to be working appropriately so we're gonna put it back on and uh, we're gonna use we're gonna go back with the gasket that it had it has a pretty high quality lube blocker gasket um, but I'm gonna put a little RTV around it just to be on the safe side not a whole lot just a small bead uh, on both sides of the gasket here uh, so I will put it up there on on a bead of uh, RTV and then I will put a bead over it and to just kind of give it that little something extra so it doesn't leak because I am pretty sure that the reason it was leaking is just that the bolts had worked loose a little bit. So we're gonna put, we're gonna reuse this and uh, and put some RTV on it. All right, just a small line of RTV though. So normally, all I use is RTV on uh, a diff cover, but this uh, poison spider bombshell comes with the gasket whenever you buy it. And so I'm just going to reuse that one and use silicone as well. Okay, our RTV. So where we've got a slight bead run around there 
and I have that in there kind of soaking up the oil while it's uh, there. So <laughs> fixing to pull that out so we don't leave it in. And we're gonna put the gasket on. So that will hold it in place and it will also help us to ensure that we've got a good seal as well. So now we'll put another bead around this. What? That damn book. What are you talking about? I don't have any chips out of it. <laughs> that's that's my damn blow. What you know? I know. That's weird. It's weird how this one's all in a in one piece. You guys see this? This one in that big chunk missing out of one. It's in my drawer. <laughs> Somebody's swinging it. So we're going to be filling it with a 80-90 uh, gear oil from Lucas. I really like Lucas. I've kind of run this stuff in my vehicles for pretty much all my life and they've all it's always done really well for me so that's what I'm going to use. The hole right here you just take a 3 8 ratchet in order to get it out there's nothing to it. All you're going to do is you're going to fill it until it starts to run out and then you're done but it's supposed to hold uh, two and a half uh, quarts, which would, or one and a half quarts, which would be 2.7 pints. As y'all can see, I filled it until it was running out just a little bit, and now I'm just gonna put the plug back in it. There you have it. And now, like I said, you don't have to pull the cover off. Uh, to be honest with you, if you're not leaking and you're doing this regular, you really don't have to. I'd say do it every couple of times because you're supposed to do this every 30,000 miles. If you do it every 30,000 miles, pulling the diff cover off is not really necessary if you're just uh, you're, you're doing it regular, like I said. So unless you have a problem or something like that, probably just leave it on, like I said, check it every couple you know two to three times and uh but other than that yeah it's uh it's good to go now another thirty thousand miles to go on that one we'll do the rear but guys we are uh gonna do the rear we're gonna do a drain and fill on the rear because it's not leaking and i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna snug up the bolts and everything like that but other, and make sure they're good and tight but other than that i'm gonna do a drain and fill so here is the drain plug and the fill plug and should be super easy. Shouldn't take more than just a few minutes to get this done. Like I said. Let's see here. Try to get that lined up as well as we can. That's got a little bit of magnetic grease there. So, guys, it's got some buildup in it right here. Um, that's the mag. This is a magnet, and it catches that. So uh, we do have some slight metal shavings. It's nothing big though, because when you when you rub your fingers together like this, it's it's nothing big. It's no big chunks or anything like that. So that tells me that this is just going to be from normal wear so no need to worry about that that's just kind of what comes off as it works in and uh these gears were put in right before i got it so more than likely that's the initial wear wear from uh the original uh install so i'm just gonna clean this off and make sure that's under there good then we're just gonna put this bad boy right back in 
once it stops draining. While we're while it's finishing off, we'll go ahead and pull this one out as well. And the oil looks fairly good as far as the um, the coloring. It really doesn't look like it's very back, very used up, you know. So that's good. We're also going through and tightening down everything, and just making sure everything's really good and tight on the um, rockers because. John Boyle, I hit the rockers pretty hard, or horse thief, one of the two, and it caused the uh, the Jeep to start having a pretty bad squeak in it, so we're trying to take care of all that. I can't stand a squeaky Jeep. So I believe that's going to be good enough. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in. The German torque measurement, you know, for all us highly technical people is good on that. Good and tight. And I'm going to go ahead and go around and make sure all these are good and tight as well. Alright. So now, it's going to get two and a half, yeah, two and a half quarts, uh, which is four point, or actually it's not quite two and a half, it's 4.75 pints. Or until it starts to run out. <laughs> All right, so uh, we've just finished it up. It took about 10 minutes. Do not be scared to service your diff. And please, please, please remember, every 30,000 miles, it needs to be done. Actually, some would say every 15, but I say every 30. And it didn't even take as much as I thought it did. Um, we ended up with like three quarters or a little, a little less than three quarters of a, um, a, bo of a quart left. Uh, so this one didn't take quite as much as I was expecting it to, but it's really easy. It's not really expensive. I think I spent $50 including shop rags and uh, silicone and everything. So, and normally, you know, with the factory one, all you use is silicone. You don't even use a gasket. So you really, all you need is silicone, the oil, and a little bit of time, and you've got it. So this is Kevin with Grayline Overland, and I hope to see you on the trail. And Michael. Henry.